Welcome to TCM Imports. I'm Alicia Malone, and tonight we have a truly essential foreign film made by the master Ingmar Bergman. It's a movie that's so iconic, people recognize the image of a knight playing chess with death on a beach, even without seeing the film. It's the seventh seal from 1957 and released here in the US in 1958. Set in medieval times, Max von Sydow stars as the knight who has that dalliance with death on his way home from several years at the Crusades. And he and his squire witness a lot of death as they see the true horrors of the Black Plague. Ingmar Bergman had long been haunted by the images of death he'd seen on frescoes inside churches as a young boy. And one particularly memorable painting depicted the progression of the Black Plague. As Bergman explained, on one end there was the sun playing over a quiet green landscape and the other a dark corner where the final incidents occurred in a greyish rain-laden dawn. This fresco inspired Bergman to write a one-act play called Wood Painting in the mid-1950s for the students in his acting class. Then Bergman decided he wanted to adapt that play into a film. It was a hard sell, but he got the green light when he won the Cannes Film Festival Jury Prize for Smiles of a Summer Night. Though there was a proviso, he had to shoot the film in just 35 days. Preparations began in earnest, the cast was assembled, extras were chosen, and Bergman locked himself away in a cabin to rewrite the script five times over. And of course, an assistant was tasked with getting a supply of Bergman's favorite wafer biscuits because those and yogurt were pretty much all he ate while directing. Also with B.B. Anderson, who we just lost this year and to whom this script was dedicated, this is The Seventh Seal. We often think of these master filmmakers as being incredibly precise and rigid, but that ending of The Seventh Seal with The Dance of Death is a great example of how open Ingmar Bergman was to improvising. The crew were setting up a different shot when Bergman and cinematographer Gunnar Fischer noticed how dramatic the sky had become. They quickly decided to make use of it, shooting that dance of death in one take in just 10 minutes. And because the actor who played the blacksmith had injured himself, a crew member was called to double for him. Needless to say, the seventh seal was a critical hit. And the idea of the Black Plague resonated with audiences at the time who were anxious about nuclear war.